Hi, my name is Kelly Henry. I'm a registered nurse and a certified diabetes educator, and I work for the Center for Excellence in Diabetes Education here in Northampton, Mass. Um, we're going to talk about how to prevent or how to treat diabetes shock, or as we call it in the medical profession, hypoglycemia, or even in simpler terms, low blood glucose. Um, first, let me define low blood glucose. Low blood glucose is um, a blood sugar under 70 when you're being treated with um, medication, insulin, such as insulin or oral medications that lower your blood sugar. This can be very dangerous. So the best way we treat it is we call it the rule of 15. Um, we tell patients you take 15 grams of carbohydrate and wait 15 minutes. First, we want them to test if they can in the beginning, ideally when they feel symptoms, because we want to know where the blood sugar is. And it, sometimes people will have symptoms of a low blood sugar, shaky, weak, um, comes on fast out of nowhere, um, might feel um, their heart racing, they might feel a little tingly in the tongue or in the fingertips, sweaty. Um, but sometimes these symptoms can be attributed to something else. So ideally, they can test their blood sugar as soon as they feel the symptoms, then we can find out, is it actually low? Is it below 70? And if it is, then they should take 15 grams of a quick-acting carbohydrate. And 15 grams of a quick-acting carbohydrate can be a half a cup of orange juice, or most juices actually of any kind, half a cup though. Um, a cup of milk, but it needs to be skim milk or 1% milk. You can't have 2% or whole milk because there's too much fat in it, and this is a cup. The best thing I like is glucose tabs or glucose gel, because these things are not, they taste pretty good, but they're not things that you're gonna eat on a regular basis um, because you need a sugar fix. The problem with the gel, the juices or milk is that typically we don't have a half a cup, we have a half a gallon, and you don't feel good for at least 15 minutes while we're waiting for this blood sugar to come up, and your inclination is to drink more of this. And then we end up with the blood sugar being too high on the other end. So half a cup of juice or two to three glucose tabs. Each tab is worth four or five grams, depending on the brand that you buy. So you would eat three to four of these. These can go anywhere you go. You can keep them in your pocket. They don't break down. They can be in your purse. They don't melt. And so they're always there when you need them. I'll tell my patients to keep some at their bedside. Sometimes when you wake up and during the night with a low blood sugar, you're not um, always with it just because of the low. That can make you a little disoriented. And also coming out of sleep sometimes makes you a little disoriented. And I've had patients say to me that they know something's wrong, but they can't figure it out. And if they see the glucose tabs, they're much more likely to actually actually think, all right, that's what I need. So glucose tabs in the bedside, in your purse, in your pocket, in your car, wherever you might be, or glucose gel. And you're gonna do 15 grams quickly and then retest the blood sugar. In 15 minutes, if that blood sugar is not above 70, you're gonna take another 15 grams and wait another 15 minutes. If it is above 70, then you're gonna think about why am I low? Do I need a meal? Do I need a snack? Am I gonna to continue to be busy? So to recap, let me say, we're gonna do the rule of 15 when your blood sugar is below 70. And that is test the blood glucose, take 15 grams of a quick acting carbohydrate, and then wait 15 minutes.